Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome to part six of Let's Play Don't Starve as Wickerbottom. And we are pretty much starting winter, it seems, which is a little awkward. Um, this episode is going to be a bit of a relaunch for this series. While I've been posting them on schedule, I haven't played in quite some time. And what that means is I've actually learned quite a bit about the game. So there were things I was saying and doing before that were not really accurate. What we need to do is explore this map and find Maxwell's door. I thought that we needed to find uh, four things. That's literally what they're called in the game. And we don't. Um, basically, those things come in handy when you're... Um, in adventure mode but to get to it in the first place we just need to find the door and go through it and nothing that we have in our inventory will come with us and nothing we've memorized here using you know our science machine and stuff to prototype none of that will count either so uh, what I really needed to do was just some hardcore exploring and that's not what I did so now, winter is essentially here. What I'm going to do is uh, let's grab the heat stone. And where is my winter hat? There it is. Okay. And I think what we should do is perhaps make another winter hat. We need spider webs to do that, right? Do we have... Yeah, we have a bunch. Let's go over here. I imagine that... And we probably don't need, by the way, to do this. Yeah, all right. You know what? We'll hold off on that for now. So, let's heat up the stone. Well, God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this whole day away. We need a destination, right? We basically explored this area, although not really. Now that I look, down to the south, we didn't. So why don't we try that? Let's see what we can see. Well, we see a tall bird, if nothing else. Uh, you know what would probably be a really good idea <laughs> is to bring food with us. <laughs> So I apologize, I'm probably going to be a little disjointed. As I mentioned, uh, I have not played this series in a good while. I think it's been about three weeks actually. I recorded several episodes, the first five to be precise. And then I kind of got doing other things and I was posting my first series of Don't Star videos. And um, Anyway, I've posted the first few of this series now, and I know I need to get going again and have some new ones ready to go. So, I'm sorry. What What is going on here? Okay. So, we're heading sort of the right way. I am really wasting this day, I have to say. But I have to, basically, what's going on is I just have to get my bearings back after this kind of layoff. We want to give the spiders a wide berth. We're not here to fight them. Let's get to the road. Well, actually, we don't really want the road, though, do we? What we want to do is just head south. Yeah, I, um, I knew a little bit. I see. It doesn't look like there's a lot of south to explore, does there? Uh, I knew a little bit about the game. I had watched some videos and stuff of just kind of the normal play as well as uh, my own play. So we can look over here. Uh, that's fine. We'll come over here and we'll go over here. I think I know what we're going to find, which is uh, not a lot except more ocean. But yeah, uh, the deal is that what I was trying to do, what I was trying to find, these are the things that you do once you're already in adventure mode. Oh, there's the pen goals. And um, 
I had really never seen anybody, I guess, go into adventure mode itself. And I just knew you went through a portal, so I assumed it was the exact same kind of portal that you use once you're in adventure, but it isn't. Okay, now I know I've never been a big one for exploring swamps. I'm pretty terrified of tentacles. So far... Uh, alright. We're out of here. I actually should have probably retraced my steps. We'll go ahead and pick the green mushroom. I'm kind of amazed that, uh... There was no tentacle action whatsoever there. We will go back to the road. And so... Yeah, we don't need to go back up in here. I think that's pretty well explored. So realistically, all we want to do is just cover this area, kind of the top half, and make sure that there's nothing here. That door is not necessarily a big area from what I've seen now that I've looked it up. Um, so... It, it is something where like you can't leave a decent sized area of the map unexplored and assume that you got it covered. All right. Can we get back in time? I think we can. I'm going to leave the green mushrooms. Don't want to stop and have a chat with the spiders. Don't want to be out here when darkness comes. And if nothing else, you know, at least we have now, let me make sure I'm on the right track. I One thing I do remember from before is I was just constantly losing my way and taking the wrong fork in the road. And I don't want to do that anymore. Okay, I don't see a log handy other than the ones on the ground, so let's just do that. I guess we did have time. We are hungry, so let's eat. Okay, that's not bad. And we'll put the meatballs away again. I'll put the berries away as well. And I might as well throw the carrot in there. We don't really need to... Oh, we'll harvest the corn. No reason not to do that. There's a very good chance this will be our last harvest for a while. I don't know if I can find a seed really quick. How about you, little birdie? You want to leave me some seeds? Nope, not really. Yeah, I don't think we have enough time before winter to grow anything. I guess this one up here could possibly bear a fruit or veggie. I guess I might as well pick these up, because as far as I can tell, I do not have any other logs. And since it's raining... So her sanity is pretty lousy. Can I do something like a straw roll? Let's make a rope. And was it down here? Yeah. Uh, wait, I'm confused. Straw roll. Uh, God. I'm not sleeping on the ground. Will she just not do that? Uh, <laughs> Oh my god. I don't think I've ever tried this before. Maybe this is one of her weaknesses. Okay. I didn't remember that. I guess I didn't need to throw the log on there. Well, that's going to make this a little harder, isn't it? Um, god, will she even sleep in a tent? I saw the tent. We would need six spider webs. All right. Well, that is super awkward. 
Let's go ahead and bring this meatballs with us. That's fine. Okay. Can we figure out another area not horribly far away to look? So this is where the wooden thing is. I guess we just go due north. We'll bear northwest. And I'm going to grab flowers, I guess. Oh, he's here now. Okay, I got to give him and those hounds a wide berth. Oh, brother. Yeah, that's an issue. That is an issue to have them here. I remember being a little worried. Oh my God, there's so many walrus camps. <laughs> I did not realize that. And I see one of the hounds is chasing after us. And another one. You've got to be kidding me. Wow. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. What is this? Another wooden? Oh, okay. It's not another wooden thing. It's the wooden thing. And it looks like there's a couple gears I left behind last time. We got worked over pretty good by that mechanical... I don't even know what you call it. It's like a knight or chess piece or some kind. Wow, that hound is still after us. If he's alone, let's do this. Where's my spear? Oh, he's not alone. Oh, well, that's just wonderful. And now my backpack is on the ground. Okay. Uh, let's do this. I don't want to lose any more sanity than I have to, but I'm just wondering if we can introduce our new friends... To an ah, oh, come on, don't fire at me, you bastard. Fire at them. <laughs> All right, I need to pick up this backpack. I don't suppose the two got a hold of each other. Yeah, they did. Cool. I think we're going to use this as an opportunity to leave. So there's nothing up here. We can go a little further west. I don't think we're going to find it. It would be kind of weird if the door was this close to the wooden thing. But, I mean, who am I to say? It's not like I have a lot of experience looking for this stupid thing. So, um, you know, who knows? Okay, we should just be able to head this way and reveal... The last part of the map that we haven't seen. Yep, more or less. And we'll stay on the road. It is getting close to dusk. I think maybe gathering the berries and carrots isn't a bad idea. We're not going to get a whole lot more of this stuff. You know, we're kind of approaching... Uh, the time of year where <laughs> you're just not going to see plant life. What's on the ground now is pretty much it, I think. Okay, so we'll just keep moving southeast. I'm grateful it isn't too cold yet. We don't have to wear down. Well, I guess I'll grab the carrot. Yeah, it's going to get cold now. All right, I'm just going to build a campfire right here. Oh, Christ, the hounds are coming. Yep. Okay. So, hold on. I don't want that there. Uh, well, whatever. Okay, so the scary thing about this, by the way, is that 
I don't know how many hounds are coming. And sometimes as many as four can come, which would really be bad news. Oh my god, and I still haven't dropped a tooth. So I've killed a total of six hounds and I have zero teeth. The really bad thing about that is I can't make any traps. If we're here for the next hound attack, there could easily be three or four uh, hounds, I mean. And uh, I do not want to fight that many without uh, traps. Hopefully we'll be gone. That's definitely my goal. So... I guess I can't really, I can't really explore and I can't, can I get back to camp? All right, what the heck? We'll make a dash for it. Nah, I'm being stupid. I'm being stupid. Let's just sit tight. We'll grab some grass and twigs and I see we can even pick up a berry. Yeah, we're actually getting, we're not low, low on grass, but low-ish and this better be the last one because <laughs> we're pushing our luck and especially with our sanity it's not bad but it's not super high either Well, let's see. Is there anything we can do to make our time at night productive? We can throw this roll in Chester. I honestly, I don't even know if it's worth keeping. We'll throw the gears in there too. Uh, my suspicion is that I probably just wasted that. That uh, maybe that's her weakness is she won't sleep on the ground like she says something about uh, when you try to do it okay and again I <laughs> I used my good spear instead of the one that was about to expire so I'm tying up two inventory slots instead of one our suit is getting a little bit bedraggled It'd be fine for fighting uh, the odd spider or something, but I wouldn't want to get into a major battle. At least we didn't eat a lot of health, you know, or uh, lose a lot of health when we fought the hounds. That's definitely a positive. Our, uh, our hunger could be a little better, but I'm not going to worry about that now. We're headed back to camp, and, um, you know, now we've at least explored, oh, I see, they're actually, hmm, so we could go northeast, I just have to be careful because, holy cow, this area, it's just crawling with these stupid walrus camps, I kind of wanted to try to kill one of the walrus and get the tusk so you can make the cane, but doing that here it just seems like such a huge risk for nothing. Like we can't bring it with us. So why bother doing that? I want to get as far away from him as I can. Uh, yeah, there's so many of them. So we're going to trigger the spiders. That's okay. We're going to run past. This, I see. We can't do anything in that direction. All right, well, we'll fill this part of the map in. Do the spiders and the pengals ever throw down? Is that a thing? Uh, it doesn't really seem like it, does it? We can grab the carrots. That's a thing. <laughs> okay, well, I don't see any evidence that we're going to find what we want out here. What we're going to find are lots of walruses. And I even ran into one as a special bonus for my stupidity. And I may run into more. Yep. Okay, where's the road? Yeah. Holy crap. This is horrible. I could easily die from doing this. 
I'm back at camp, and unfortunately, I don't have traps or anything, so... Am I going to end up having to kill these hounds? Or can I outrun them? Um... All right, we got one. Oh, and we even got a tooth. Look at that. We got two teeth, if I can maneuver enough to get one. All right, well, not only did I not end up dead, uh, as I perhaps deserved, I am better off than I was. At least now we can make traps and... You know, maybe that won't help me when uh, we leave this world, but with all these stupid walruses running around and their hounds, uh, it may come in more handy than I, I was hoping it would need to. Let's set the heat stone down. And... I'm actually thinking, let's go ahead, if I remember correctly... We're going to... I sure hope this works. I think the last time I tried to make a meaty stew, I screwed it up. Oh, and this idiot... Uh, he just wandered right into our camp. Awesome. Can I kill him? If I could equip my suit. He's going to run away. Okay. Is he going to just kill Chester? So I don't have a ranged weapon. Does that just doom me? Do it. Oh my god. Wow, this is so bad. Yeah, he's going to kill me if I don't do something. Wow. Okay. Uh, what do I need? Yeah, he is just tagging me. I can't make any of these things. God, this is horrible. I can't stop. <laughs> I can't attack him. This is ridiculous. I've never I've never encountered this guy before. Do I have a torch? Can I make a torch? Oh my god. So I am, I've left my backpack behind. I have to try to get away from him. That's the only thing I can think to do. Am I, he just wrecked me. Is he gone? He might be. All right, I, I guess I was just being stupid. I should have done that from the word go. Wait a minute, was that him? So my log suit is wrecked, right? And now I don't even have enough to make a new one and night is about to fall. That's pretty perfect. Wow, this is so bad. He wrecked my football helmet. He wrecked my log suit. Jeez. Well, that was a learning experience and a half. Okay. Um, 
I need two ropes. That should be okay. Ah, I see. Uh, come here, Chester. Okay. Um. God. I have to find my backpack, too. What an experience that was. I'm just gonna burn this stupid pine cone. Alright, well at least I got that going for me again. And as long as I'm doing this stuff, where's the football helmet? Is that in here? Maybe not. Maybe it is under combat. It probably is. There it is. So we just need a rope and a pig skin. Okay. And the pig skin, as I remember, is in one of these chests. Yep. Okay. Alright, so I mean, at least we're armored up again. That is pretty important. I see, and the fire is about to uh, go out. Wow. So we need wood, and we need it right now. Oh, and I'm about to starve, too. Holy cow. Yeah, I just got so completely taken out of my game <laughs> by that stupid thing. Yeah, I, so I never even, I never even made my, uh, uh, my meaty stew. And maybe what I should do, can I find my backpack? Okay, it's right, it's right just south of here. So, let's just to make sure I stay alive, make a berry and eat it. There we go. This strikes me as a really good time to eat a meaty stew. Because I need the health, I need everything. Oh my god. What a what a thing that was. Um all right. You know what? I don't remember how this whole thing works. So actually, I'll do this. I'm just going to put another morsel in there because I know it works. And then next time I'll use the last two meat and this. Yeah, that really shook me. I, I thought we were going to die. This game is interesting to me because what happens is there's these long periods of time where you just kind of go through these mundane tasks. Like you chop wood and you gather twigs and you know simple things like that and then all of a sudden especially if you haven't faced it before you know, you you come across some really dangerous thing and while this game in some ways feels like an rpg where you um you have these experiences and your guy gets better gear and stuff your actual character is no tougher than it is at the beginning of the game you're just as fragile and like once that uh, log suit goes away uh, you know, a couple of good hits and that's it she's just dead so um, it's yeah it's just funny like the combination of that where I get used to not really being in any imminent danger and then all of a sudden I am and it's urgent and I have to figure it out right now and I can't save or anything like that uh, it throws me and it makes me panic in a way that doesn't happen when you're playing a game where you're constantly in danger and having to fight things and stuff like that. 
So it's a really interesting effect. I don't know if that's something that they actually, you know, kind of had as a plan or if it's just, you know, how things happen to turn out, but it's really effective at making certain moments in this game very tense. All right, so we've got a bunch of pine cones, which I am going to plant. I want to make sure I don't attack the pangles. That's a pretty bad thing to do because um, the whole community will attack you if you do that. And you probably are not going to defeat the whole community, so... Oh, okay. Okay. Come on, I'm gonna leave the pine cones. We gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Yep, such are the joys of winter. Okay, I won't eat this yet. I'm gonna wait until we get hungrier. I am gonna throw these in here. And I think that if we throw a monster meat and one rabbit, we're going to make a meaty stew. I could be wrong. We may just get meatballs. Maybe I was supposed to do two uh, of the meat and two rabbits. That's possible. As I said, it's really been a while. I'm going to go ahead and try to chop. I guess this is a little dangerous. I was going to chop just a little bit more wood. Of course, if this thing was one of those guardians, I would be in deep trouble. But now that we and our heat stone have both warmed up, I really want to plant some of these pine cones too. Um, I don't want this area being devoid of trees. I like having an area near our camp that has plenty of logs when we need them. And my recollection is that even in um, winter, these trees do grow decently well. I'm going to pick a little grass while we're at it. And I better get back over here. I suppose I'll put this in the fridge for now. And let's throw another log on the fire. And I guess there's no reason to not keep these in the ice box. We should just eat that. We can keep this in the ice box. There's nothing worse than rotten monster meat. Okay, I think that's fine. Woo! All right, well, I'm going a little crazy, and uh, I'm a little beat up, but we have survived another four days. Wow, really? Come on. Don't, don't, don't. Come on. I guess I shouldn't say I've survived until I get through the night and these stupid hands haven't snuffed my fire and gotten me killed because they are really being stubborn does he go away no not really wow yeah I mean holy cow they really have me on a vigil here maybe I should throw another log on Come on, go away. No, 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 God. This is kind of ridiculous. No, come on. All right, day is about to dawn, so I'm going to leave it be. Well, that was an interesting last day or so, if I may say that. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you for watching. We're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up, and I hope to see you next time.